don't think you might be a nine. Today. Yeah, you look like a four. Ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate the love that you've been showing Tim and I. So at the end of the segment, we're going to show some love back to you. But first, to the sports. JC Men's Hoops, first round of the DAC playoffs. Wasn't even a game. Crushed oh, three balls. Crushed Dakota State, 86-62. I, got, I wish Marv Albert was there with me because I got tired of saying, for three, <laughs> yes. It was great. They play South Dakota Tech Mines this Sunday. Good luck, Jimmy's. Uh, women's game. Dominated Dickinson State as well, 183-65. Uh, Casey Geffrey, freshman, putting up 25. Bridget Schooneman, a little bit more after you with the no, 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 off the glass repeatedly over and over. Women win on to face Black Hill State, the one seed on Sunday. Jamie's baseball in action this weekend, scheduled to play against the University of Minnesota, Crookston, Crookston and also Kansas Wesley. And Kansas Wesley right now bringing a 4-0 record to the Jimmy's. Jimmy's hoping to give them their first Loss on that slate. Good luck, Jimmy's. Hope the weather holds up and you guys make it down to Kansas safely. A lot of NBA trade movement this week. Chauncey Billups and the melodrama moved to the New York Knicks, makes them a title contender. As well as Darren Williams making the Nets, New Jersey Nets, by the way, relevant once again. Um, now it's not known for Chris Humphreys and Kim Kardashian. So Nets getting stronger. A lot of other moves being made. It seemed to be getting dropped. Um, whatever. I don't know. A lot of NBA trades. Check them out. NCAA basketball, it's conference tourney time right around the corner. Next week it begins. A couple teams that you've either forgot about or haven't heard of in the past 10 years to keep an eye on. St. John's taking their 18-9 and record into conference tourney time. Hey, they've beat Duke. They've beat Notre Dame. They've beat Pitt. They've beat Georgetown. They've beat UConn. They can play with anybody. Keep an eye on them. Also, don't forget about K-State, ladies and gentlemen. They're playing for their lives. You're going to see the best. Forget. You're going to be the best at, see the best out of Jacob Pullen. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to K-State. Big news in MLB this week. Adam Wainwright, second in the NL Cy Young voting last year. Tommy John surgery out for the year. Miguel Cabrera, star first base from the Detroit Tigers, likes scotch, and he yep. let the policemen know that. So, <laughs> exciting week. Hey, I like scotch, too. No worries there. Just don't drive with it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Irrelevant. Give me who you think is relevant today, Tim. Uh, relevant, I see Hashim to beat in the headlines, as in Battier traded for to beat. Hey, what are the Rockets looking to bolster their D-League? Um, D-League roster, Sheen to beat, your career irrelevant. And my irrelevant of the day, Yao Ming, because if your team's trading for an irrelevant to replace you on the roster, that makes you super irrelevant. China, quit voting for the guy for the All-Star Game. Start voting for Yi Jing Ling. He's irrelevant. And now it's time to give back to you guys. We have a Facebook page, if you're not aware of that, but we'd like to hear who you think is irrelevant. We're going to decide who wins, and the winner gets this Jimmy Men's Basketball Conference Championship T-shirt from last year, 2010, courtesy of the Jimmy Basketball team. This is a double XL, but if you're not that big, I'll get you a smaller one. So hey, Facebook but, page is Spitting Sports, spit Spitting with an apostrophe Sports. Yeah, you should be able to find it. it out. Hey, tell us who you think's irrelevant. You know what? We'll send you a T-shirt. Show the love. I love it. We are biased, so if you write the Seattle Mariners or something funny like that, I guarantee you, you won't win. You'll just piss me off. And I'm a doggy on the show. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, thank Do you for it. watching. I'm Nick Meehan. And I'm a 10. No, you're not. We're out of here. <laughs>